we add a dash of this and a pinch of I'm just practicing a pinch of this and to top it off a little bit of this and we mix it all together and hold spookaroonies what oh okay okay <clears throat> this will be practice but why don't you just roll it and we'll see what the time is Oh, okay. What? What? How much time was that one? Okay. I'm watching it start. Tell me when. Are we ahead of film here? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Dr. Tom B. Stone inviting you to join us each and every Saturday night at 9 p.m. for Spookaroonies. We will be adding just a touch of this and a pinch of that and to top it all off a little bit of this we'll mix it all together and behold spookaroonies you're about six seconds over 30 seconds wow and I was dragging it sort of because I thought I was gonna mm -hmm. not have it you know okay so we're, we're good man it's the open, uh yeah okay what, do you guys have your makeup? Yeah, I'm going to do my makeup. Okay, go in that. Go where? Oh, light. Okay, and... Hang on a second. I'm going to get into action. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Dr. Tom B. Stone here inviting you to join us each and every Saturday night at 9 p.m. for Spookaroonies, where we add just a pinch of this, a dash of that, and for the final flare, just a little of this, and we mix it all together. And behold, Spookaroonies! Hey, about 26 seconds. I think that's good. Perfect. Then we'll bring the graphic out, and then put Saturday nights at 9 p.m. Good deal. So we just need three movie clips to put in there. And how many seconds were we over? About four. Oh, I know we were about under, or under four seconds. How many? Four seconds. Okay. So we'll just like uh, on those three clips, about a second mm -hmm. a piece. That'll be enough. Yeah. All right. Now on the first scene here, all I'm going to do is say, and stay out. <clears throat> Are we rolling still? Jeremy? I'm sure we are. Here we go. Okay. And stop and don't come back! Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome once again to Spookaroonies. We have a great show in store for you this evening. It is an old classic black and white film, as always, entitled The Trollenberg Terror. Or some people call it The Crawling Eye. So, I'm just going to have to vent a little bit here. In the meantime, let's get right into our show, and we will see you shortly. Cut. Good. All right. Seven more to go. Not bad. Now. You're being, you're, you're all with me, so I don't need my glasses, otherwise I'm sitting here tonight. And I won't be going to work. And thousands of dollars won't be put into it. What is C2? Well, I'm looking for the little script, scripto pages. <laughs> Whew, it's bright as hell. Here they are. Scene number two. Knock, knock. Get that! Oh. Oh, just come in! Steve does his spiel. And then, uh, when your spiel is over, the only thing, I won't say anything, the only thing we do is, uh, well, actually I will. We'll hear a knock-knock again. When your spiel is done, you'll see me look toward the door. 
and I'll look at you and I'll go, can you get, can you get that? And then you say what? Do I'm, I I'm, look like your gentleman's gentleman, doctor? And I'll say, oh, just come in, and then we'll cut. <clears throat> Ty, will you look in there and make sure the tape is rolling? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're rolling. Okay. Hold on. Stand by. When you're ready, Steve, you say knock, knock. Okay. I'm going to be looking at the skull here. See, there's something in your face. Turn this way. I think you picked that up in the camera. What? That white all over his... Oh. Lick your hand and kind of... Oh. I couldn't tell with his glasses on. Yeah, yeah I think you're good. I don't think it's too bad. I'll see if I had notes in the camera. But... Well, a makeup artist I ain't. <laughs> Okay, for editing purposes, we just finished scene one. This is scene two. It begins with Steve's knock knock. Okay. Are we ready? <clears throat> we are ready. <clears throat> <clears throat> knock knock knock. Fred will Oh, um Oh, just come on in. Well, you would absolutely not believe the kind of day I have had. First of all. My wife kicked me out, and she ran off with Paco, the pool boy, and we don't even have a pool. Not to mention oh, the fact that the ministry has gone belly up. Something about people using their expense accounts too much. Just We've lost our hell. funding. It, I'm unemployed. I have no house, and I've been kicked out by my wife. Now, how can your problems be any worse than that? Well, Sir Percival, you don't know what I'm going through. It is, uh, it's a pretty bad problem, and Hang on, well, can you get that for me? Do I look like your butler? Just come on in! Okay. Does that work okay? Mm-hmm. I'm going to run through this. I don't know exactly what you're saying here. Huh? I think it looks good. Cool. Scene three. <laughs> Where the hell is scene three? Where is scene three? Do we have three papers or three? It should be right there. It's not there. Oh, I'm missing a scene. Well, this is where you come in, isn't it? They were all slashed over here. I thought we had two papers. Also, we had three. No. Yeah, that's when you write it out like that. Two. Okay. Yeah, we did. There's got to be another paper. There it is. Find it. No, you didn't take it out. All this ought to be good. Okay, scene three. Where's my money? Oh. Scene three. Todd comes in. Where's my money? <laughs> okay. Okay, Steve, you're gonna wind this one up. Okay. Ty's gonna come in, where's my money? Then you go into the angel of death thing and he deployed his or whatever he did, you know, how brought that spider. And then I just look at you and then I was gonna go, that was the one where I went. Well I'm he's just, a weird looking that fella, ain't he? And after you get done with that, and if you want to rebut that, that's fine. But then I'm just going to squeeze in. Well, I had to bring Fred back to life. Well, that really ain't my problem. Now, where's my money? And then Steve will end it up. And I forget what you had. There was something. I was trying to say, well, I'm going to take a shower. This is just ridiculous. I thought I smelled something. And then I'm going to say, a shower? A shower? I guess he thinks he's staying here. Whatever. I'll say, I thought I smelled something. Then we'll fade. I don't want to say, I gotta get along with you.
You want to do a dry run of this one? Yeah, we can. I got a sore throat. Hang on. I knew him, Horatio. Heads up. Mm-hmm. He knows how to get ahead in the world. Hey, buddy, I reckon you're the current cutest little fella I ever did say. <laughs> oh, my. I still have my dignity. <laughs> what the hell is dignity? <laughs> that one of them newfangled moving cars, horseless carriages. <laughs> reckon I'm going to throw my sister down while I have a hoe down. Get it? Ah! You didn't uh, pick your fries up, sugar. Well, I want those picked up. Dr. Tom B. Stone uses Altoids, ladies and gentlemen, because they are curiously strong. I think we can get some money out of the Altoids for that one. Or a lawsuit. <laughs> yeah. We don't want two people mentioning our product. Have you ever noticed uh, Rupert G? Yeah, I don't know if you guys ever watched Letterman. Yeah. But on Hello Deli. Uh, Marlboros are in the background all the time. And I didn't think that was Convenient legal. Pod- product placing. Some companies will pay thousands, millions for that. I know, but I didn't think you were allowed to without their permission. Well, I'm sure they had their permission. And they're probably paying it. Yeah, I'm sure they're Because they're in every shot of that. I'm sure they're paying a great deal. All right, let me refresh my memory here. Where's my money? I'm do a dry run here. Okay, hold on. How did we end the last one? Will you get that? No, I'm not your butler. Oh, just come on in. So you're not on this scene yet. You and I are kind of like looking down the corridor. And he comes in. Let's make sure, Ty, go look in the, on the monitor, and if I stand right here and Steve butts up against me, if you've got room. You're, yeah. What else do we need? Want me to move this way? Uh, no, now you're flipping off. This way? There you go. You're, yeah, you're good there. Is it good or what? You're good. Yeah. We're fine Great right or there. good? Right there, we're fine. Okay. <clears throat> Do a little dry run here. Okay. Thank you, director. You can come in any time here. We're kind of looking. Come on in there, big boy. Oh, good good lord. lord. <laughs> what in the... I don't believe I'm in Kansas anymore. <laughs> I've never seen anything quite like it. <clears throat> Doug Lane. I think you better take a little off that weed there, boy. That's a little too long. <laughs> You'll get it out of the scene if you ain't careful. <laughs> Remember, you size doesn't matter, though. <laughs> okay. Just this dry run. Scene three, dry run. What? Oh, God. good oh. Lord. All right, where's my money? Do you owe this man money? Billy Ty, the bug guy. Remember he eradicated oh, yes, the uh, uh, spider. The uh, uh, spider, the uh, angel of death spider. Yeah, he I still haven't received my oh. payment for that either. You haven't paid him yet. That's terrible. That's just not a, that just not what a general. Fred died is. over this deal. Oh, hey. but you brought him back. Oh yes, Fred died. A life was lost because you did not successfully eradicate all of the spiders. Now, oh, God. Don't blame me for this. I still want my money. I don't care if he died or not. I suppose I could get you some money if it will shut you up. No, no, no. Those chemicals weren't expensive, were they? Are you kidding me? I had to sell my sister. Oh, really? How much did you get for her? <laughs> Oh, a tangent there. <laughs> <laughs> a party penny, that's what I should have said. A like, party penny. Whatever you said, how much did you get for her? <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this. Let's take another little drive and see where we go with this one. What's the end? How do we... Okay, where's my money? Steve is going to start talking. Why don't you say, well, Fred died mm-hmm. because you didn't eradicate spiders in because that will kind of set it back up. Then I won't say anything, and I'll just at the end, I'll say, I had to bring Fred back from the other side. And then you can end it with however you want to. Cool. And then the, it's the shower one. Yeah, <laughs> my first shower scene. I reckon I smell something. I reckon you do. <clears throat> Something's in the meat case, Linda. <sighs> okay, you just nod your head when you're going to start walking in, because we're going to, and then give us a second. Cause this we're is still gonna, a dry run? No, this is it. This is it. Nod your head when you're going, and nod your head, and then count to three and start walking. Because in that count of three, Steve and I are going to be like, "Good Lord!" Like you're walking down a long hallway. Okay. 
Good lord. Oh, my. I don't believe I'm in Kansas anymore. All right, where's my money? Oh, wait, you shouldn't have to pay him. You didn't get rid of those spiders and they killed Fred. What are you talking about? I use expensive chemicals. What are you guys talking about? Spiders and... Oh, yes, Billy, yes. Billy, uh, Billy... Billy tied the bug guy! That's it. And right. I still have not received my payment and I come for it. Well, considering that Fred died, I don't think you deserve any payment. Fred died? Yes. Well, that's nothing to matter. I want my money! And I want it now! Oh, hmm. good well, lord. Well, um... I had to bring Fred back from the other side. That took a lot of effort and time. Oh, expensive. Oh, I don't care. I want my money. You have no idea how expensive these chemicals are. I need a shower. I thought I smelled something up in here. Shower. Oh, please. You tried trudging after a hundred-year-old vampire in the sewer. Blah, 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 blah. blah, blah, blah. blah. That's that way. If you need a shower, you're not staying long, but the shower is that way, Dude, by the you. way. And what to do with you? Um, Give me my money! Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, um, we're going to figure something out here. Who are you it's talking to? Pose. We're doing a show here. Oh, good uh, lord, you didn't tell me we were on the telly. I hope they ladies and gentlemen, out. boys and girls, I'll get rid of these fruitcakes. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> we might have to redo that one. Uh, can we watch it? Yeah. From your what? <laughs> my Kool-Aid. <laughs> Back off my Kool-Aid. <laughs> Am I going to enter in from here? Mm. Well, you went out that way to take a shower. So that's probably a good idea. <laughs> okay, that was a silly question. No, well, I mean, th this is a huge castle. Yes. You have several showers. Mm. Only one of them actually has running water, though. Yeah. Well, you well, smell like a con. You smell party. I'm going to say that. You, you smell party. Which wing did we pay the water bill in? That's where Steve's going to come from. Okay, we are on uh, scene four. Four? Singing. Sounds like Cat Trap. You smell purdy. <clears throat> okay, then I'm just going to close this out somehow. I don't know how, but it doesn't matter. Uh, let's see it. We're going to a break. Hopefully, we're right back. Is what I have to say, but anything else in between there. Now, let's. Uh, Tell us if we're all on the camera. You get over here, honey. Come over here. We okay? Yeah. Well, not yet. I'll stick that right here then. Okay. Whenever you're ready, Brit. <clears throat> hey, British tar is a soaring soul as free as a mountain bird. That sounds like a it cat getting skinned, skinned alive. Knock that off! I will have you know I did dinner theater in my youth to standing ovations. Well, well aren't you dinner. just special? Yes, I am quite special. Even though I am an unemployed and had my wife kick me out in favor of the poor boy Paco. Did you know he's English? Yes, did you know I'm English? Respect. I'm quite English. Hey, I'm see. very English. I reckon English. we kicked you out of this country. I don't know if you remember that. <laughs> I'm sorry. we got to start over. That was funny. <laughs> no, right. What was the... Uh, this was something about my, my girlfriend. Was this the girlfriend one or is that the next one? That's the next, next one. Okay. Just be hazy. You're doing great. Okay. Wonderful. Let's try it again. <laughs> Here we go. Hold it, you've just taken a shower. You probably wouldn't have your coat and scarf on, would you? I'm putting my scarf on. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to disrobe for the show. <laughs> no, I didn't mean that. We should have had you some... There go all my hopes and dreams. He just shot down the glass. jacket. <laughs> that would have been good. Okay, <laughs> here right. we go. So, anyhow, you're Billy Ty the Bunny Guy. Hey, British tar is a soaring soul as free as a mountain bird. Jeez, that sounds like a cock and skin alive. Would you not have been rock us off, please? Are you okay? I would have you know I did dinner theater to standing ovations in my youth. Well, aren't you special? Yes, I am quite special. At least He's that's what English. my mum said. Very English. I believe we kicked you out of this here country. You remember I mean, that? We chose to leave. Mm -hmm. Thank you very mm -hmm. much. Don't be so hazy to our English gentlemen. In fact, you're my guest this evening, and if I choose to, you will be leaving shortly. With my money? Well, back to the money thing again. 
Oh, good lord. I must have some money here somewhere. It's all about it, pay me. Just loan me a little bit, like I do bucks or something. No, no. No, actually, actually, actually. We don't even have to get into the money thing. Well, we have how about anyways. how about we'll discuss this? Um, I might be able to barter a little bit somehow. Let's uh, let's take a quick break here. We'll be right back. I'm gonna get me my money. Capital idea. Get me my money. Yes. Get me my money. Capital idea. Okay, cut. That would... We'll fade out with that <clears throat> with our yeah. talking out there. Okay. This is a good scene, I think. <laughs> this is the this is the one where it's gonna go crazy. <laughs> This is scene four with the wires. Can we watch that? Scene six is the money, future women and boogers. <laughs> oh, that booger one's going to be good. This ex-wife thing, this is the one where I say that okay, you, no. have a, you asked me if I had a girl. But yeah, I had me a lady friend once, but she broke my heart. So I broke her jaw. <laughs> You're the guy on the wife beater uh, with the empty beer cans all around your feet in a mobile home somewhere. Your character, I love that. Okay. No. Thanks, mm -mm. wise. Okay. Steve does his spiel. Okay, the camera will come on. We will just be standing here. Let's fade into you. Just start talking garbage, and then uh, ten seconds into it, start making some sense and get into a spiel about your women, and uh, you'll be. Saying you're, you know, I had me a lady friend once. Crazy little stuff. Hold it, we went to a break, didn't we? Yeah. <clears throat> Actually, no. This is to break. I know, but we'll, I'll just say we'll be back in case we need to switch anything around for whatever purpose. Okay. Ex wives, scene five. <clears throat> Actually, I. It could be actually my fourth wife. I'm, I'm not actually sure how far out in the ocean you have to be before a legal marriage is binding. Uh, with Four the wives? Well, I'm not sure about the third. It could be the fourth or the third. I'm just kind of confused. But this last one was a dreadful mistake. I mean, I can't believe we don't even have a pool. And she ran off with a pool boy from the neighbor's house. You know, I've just been talking to my potential third ex-wife. Third ex-wife. <laughs> so you're way ahead of me. You, you know, know, I had myself. About this and... I have myself a lady friend once. Oh, really? I don't even believe that. Yeah, well, she broke my heart, so yeah. I went ahead and I broke her jaw. Broke so her jaw? Broke her jaw. Case in point as to why we chose to leave. They allow America. that. You know where I live? I didn't say allow it. I said there's a law against that. You should be locked up. Yes, and the key threw it away. She broke my heart. That gives me the right to break her jaw. But if you don't watch it, I'm going to get a steak and steak you Oh! 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 Don't sound like fighting words. Let me tell you a quick story. Fighting words. Just a quick story. Just oh, a quick story. Right, please go ahead. <clears throat> My first wife died. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. Well, she ate poison mushrooms. Oh, blimey. <clears throat> and then I had a girlfriend, and she died. Oh, dear. How tragic. She ate poison mushrooms. Hmm. Then I uh, got married. And my second wife died. Let me guess. Poison mushrooms again? Skull fracture. Hmm. She wouldn't eat her mushrooms. There, that's my doc right there. Break her jaw, right? No, 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 no. She, 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 well, you, you just don't understand. And I thought I had marital issues. Well, nevertheless, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we all have our problems, and uh, we'll be right back. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. If that doesn't work, we don't have to leave. Let's watch time. that one. I think it'll work. It's better than most of our scripted stuff. I know. And we don't have to retake and retake for missing a word. This is the scene. All right, what are we doing now? The boogers. When do you get the two 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 by right here? Well, you need to. We need to start a fight today, or not today? This one. This scene. Yeah, where's the two by Okay. Four? Money, fortune, women. Okay, we're gonna bullshit about that, and then Ty is gonna come in with 
he's going to be talking to us, and I guess, are you going to pick a booger while we're talking? Mm -hmm. How about while we're rapping? You just be picking a booger for a while. And then all of a sudden, we'll be quiet when you go like this. And, we'll, and then we will no, look but, at you like, you piece of scum. You you know? said, Y'all ever look at a booger up close? It's like its own little world in there. <laughs> what do I do with it? Do you, what are you, are you guys going to say? Actually, what you could do is go like that and be kind of done with it and go. And Steve could go. Like, no, so let's get back to the movie. Or I could do it. I don't care. The booger hits someone. You go. But after he hits it, in the meantime, you're picking your nose and, look, and looking at one. When well, you get the two light four out on Don't you really get a booger out? <laughs> no. No, no, that's okay. That's, that's okay. Please don't. When does the uh, two by four come out? Uh, it's not in this one, I don't think. It's in seven. Isn't it? Well, we could start a fight in this one. We were supposed to be fighting through the whole thing. Yeah, I know. But I think if we talk about money, future women, and boogers, I don't think we need to throw a fight in there, do we? No. What would we fight over? Yeah, I think the fight should probably be towards the. Well, end we could we could have it when we talk about money at the beginning because I want my money. He well, says we could. Smart to me. We could, and uh, you yeah. can have your steak. You can just whip it out. He whips the two before I get. You want to go a couple rounds with the champ? And I'll say, give me that, give me that, and I'll just kind of throw them down here, and then we'll go into future women. Future women. Okay, you, we'll talk about money. I'll break up the fight, and then I'll say, let's talk about love and women. And then you start off, future women, what you want, what would be good, all that good stuff. And then, Ty, you throw your future woman thing in there and what, you know, you might like a sheep that might be white and black. <laughs> what? <laughs> I want a woman that ain't going to talk back to me. I don't know. I'll put that right there where you can grab it out. You have your steak handy? I have steak in my hand. Okay. <laughs> you can, like, put it up by his throat instantly. Okay. Money, future women, boogers, and then I'll, I'll be back to the movie, and I'll just be jumping in there with you guys. I'm going to say something about my future woman, then you go back to your future woman, and then during that, I'll pick my nose. The nose no. picking is at the end? Or? we got money, future women. Then boogers. Then boogers. Oh, you're saying when you when, look at your book. Well, because I do something about the future wives, and then you start talking again about your future wives, and then I'll start picking those, and then I'll interrupt you with Okay, but now squeeze in. Uh, huh? Yeah, rugby. Throw anything in. It's Monster a, crooks. It's a gentleman's chat here for a few minutes, but then you start really digging. Bring up something about football because I got a great line to say about football. Y'all watch ever watch football? I don't see why you colonials need to put all that tonnage on just to play a game of rugby. Come on, I'll come back for that one. Well, um, you could say, you know why? Uh, I think I've just been no, insulted. Actually, you could say, you know why uh, Americans drink their beer cold, so they can tell the difference between that and this. <laughs> I don't think that would work. We could shut down. Yeah. <laughs> we'll creep it out. <clears throat> All right. Okay. Ready? Uh, money, future women, boogers. Uh, let's go. <laughs> Who's going to kick it off? He's okay. still yelling about money. Okay. Now, let's get down to business. Let's get down to my money that y'all owe me. Would you please stop going on about your bloody money? I want my money. How much? Have some dignity. How much? You, you better watch. You spread out. You stupid. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's start again. Okay. okay. Yeah. <clears throat> now let's get down to business. The business of my money that you all owe me. You won't shut up about that bloody money. So How I much is it? Pay you owe me. God's sake. You don't shut your mouth. You're treading off thin ass. Oh, please. I'm oh. English. Oh, oh, that don't mean nothing to me. Give, give me this. Are you you want to go a couple rounds with the champ? Are with you the champ? Are you threatening me, sir? I will knock you upside the head with this piece of wood. Hey, 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 hey. No give wood. Me. No wood in this. No wood in this. You're lucky. You're lucky you in a bead. I'll whoop you. Oh, All over the crib. I've slain worse vampires than you could ever imagine. 
Okay. That was funny. Okay. <laughs> Let's start over. Let, this time we'll get it right. This will work. And then after you get done with your board, get back in here. So I think you're getting off camera. Okay. <clears throat> Director said action. Oh, I'm sorry. What scene number is this, by the way? Five. Scene five. Scene five. Alright, now let's get down to business, and the business is getting my money that y'all owe me! Oh, he just won't shut up about the money, please. Somebody I want my money! Him. I want it! Why don't you get closer to me, little boy? And I'm getting a headache. <laughs> y'all kind of cute. There's room for two under that cake, though. Get over here a little bit closer. So I'm afraid you're going to the scene. That's a flipper. Okay. Scene five, take two, or three or four. All right, now let's get down to the business of the money that is owed by you oh, to me. Good Lord, it's the money again. He just oh, well, shut well, up. I'm owed money, and I want my payments. You didn't do your job. You don't. Fred you died. Get any money. You better watch. You you treading on thin ice. Oh please, I'm not on any ice. Oh, you want to go? Dish. You want to go? Oh yes, gentlemen, let's go. Gentlemen. All right, let's take this outside. Are you let's take this outside. I will whoop. Ah, I will whoop. Give, give me that. You give me give that. Me, give me that. You want to leave right now? You're lucky, Hannah Beat. I whooped you all over the crib. Oh, please. Will you stop it, gentlemen. I you thought you were a gentleman. I thought you were a gentleman. You want to go up your rounds with the chair? Hey, see. Hey, see. Guys, 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 guys. You know what? You don't have your woman. No. You're kind of a sorry little mess right now. You, you've so always been a sorry mess. mess. The doctor, um, he's lonely right now. Let's talk about future women. Let's get happy. Come on. It's all okay. But I wow. want a 22-year-old blonde French woman. Could you handle that? Oh, please. I've handled a lot worse. Well, I want a 400-pound <laughs> woman named Bessie. Isn't your cow named Bessie? That scared the hell out of me. No, my okay. cow ain't named Bessie. <laughs> okay. I think we're going to have to start that one over. <laughs> Just, <trying> to <laughs> Just don't laugh on the Bessie thing. I think that'll work. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I need another. This thing's all good. Okay. 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 Oh. All right. Then we got mm. six, seven, and eight. This will be the earliest we've ever been out. Yep. <laughs> okay. Action. Keep on scooting in here, sweetie. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Who starts this off? I do. Okay. All right. Now let's get down to the business. The business is y'all owe me money. And I want the money now. How much? Just won't shut up about that bloody money. You better, you better here. shut him up. You better shut him up. What do we owe you? What? No, it's not a we. What do? What, what you didn't do your job. Shut guys, you, you don't. Oh, oh, that, oh, oh, you done and did it. You oh. done and did it. Wrap the wood up. You done and did it. Hey, you want to go up your rounds with the chair? Come on, bud. I'm gonna whip you upside the head. Hey, I'm gonna whip you upside the head. I'm gonna whip you. Give me that. Give me that. Oh, right. lucky hand or beat, I whooped y'all over the crib, I swear. I'll to the man the upstairs that I whooped him. Yes. I whooped him all over. Yes, I'm lucky. sure you would have. You're lucky. Gentlemen, gentlemen. In your very lucky. vivid imagination. He's gentlemen. lucky. He's lucky. Let's talk about good things. Like what? We're all basically single now. Yeah, that's quite true. Okay. Why are you We're getting at? Woman? Well, look at you. Let's talk about future women. Future women, Okay. Future I want, I'll tell you what I want of my future woman, a 400 pound woman named Bessie, and I know she won't go out cheating on me. My grandfather had out the a door. cow named Bessie. I want a 22 year old blonde French woman. Oh, good for you. Could you handle that? Oh, yes, I could handle anything. Could you handle a 400 pound Bessie? I reckon I could. Yeah. I reckon I could. You ever done it before? No, but I, I think I want to try, and I think I could handle it. Done in your mind. Got it in my mind. It is very vivid imagination, perhaps. Right. Takes one. Well, I'll tell you what. Gentlemen, it's uh, it's getting late. Are, are you going to be staying for a while? Well, if you don't mind. I... The... Y'all ever looked at a booger up close? Oh, my God. Well, now I... Like a whole little world up in there. Well, I... Hello. That's quite 
uh, interesting. No, thank you, please. It's 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 quite nice. Very very amazing. Oh 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 oh. Okay okay. Oh dear. Um, I think I'm going to lose my tea. I think we've got to um, we've got to leave for a moment. We'll be right back. I shouldn't have had those scones. Oh for my God. Food. Don't die until you try it. That's all I got to say. I think that'll work. <laughs> Let's watch mm-hmm. that one. All right. Now, was well, that five or six? That was five. five. Let's watch that one. No, you know, whoa, 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 whoa. Five was the XYs. That was six. That's what I'm thinking. All right. Jack, can you rewind that? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Hey, that's a good idea. And you say, I thought you were joking about that show. About that show. You really put me on TV and I didn't put, I don't, I look like poo. And how about you really like your girl and you say, Doc, Tom, you don't owe me a nickel. You don't owe me a nickel. Thank you very much. And you're like, where are you heading? I'm heading upstairs. I reckon since you did owe me, I can take one of these rooms up there in that tower and everything be a okay. So that's where I'm going right now. Come on. And I'm Bitch. not leaving with you. Oh, that, that would actually be cool. You just leave, or you just leave, and uh, she'll kind of stay here and be looking around. And then she goes, what? I'm not going to. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, that'll work. Um, what about you and You can hear me in the distance. Come on up, sugar. Um, she should introduce herself, and I should say Come to your English accent, and let's talk. <clears throat> come on, Danielle. She's shy, but come on. Oh, come on. Yeah, it'll be okay. If you screw it up, it's okay. Yeah. We've screwed up the whole night. <laughs> Bloody hell. <laughs> oh, what, what is your Bloody name? <laughs> Did you hear a bloody? Yes, well, what is your <laughs> name, dear lady? <laughs> Buffy, <laughs> Buffy what? It's going to be Buffy something. Buffy, Buffy, a vampire slayer named Buffy. How Hello, very Randy. American. What's your last name? You can be Buffy and I'll be Randy. No, you're Buff. You are Buffy because you're his. Who's going to be Randy? <laughs> you're you're Buffy, but we need a last name for it. What's a British last name? Saint John. Buffy Saint John. <laughs> Buffy Bottoms. Buffy <laughs> Bottoms. <laughs> Buffy Bottoms. <laughs> Buffy Bottoms. <laughs> Jared. <laughs> Buffy Bottoms. This is scene seven. Oh, you're on Eight's easy. So, are you ready to go? No. Oh, okay. Let's do this. Okay. I was going to say... Okay, I was going to say, if, if you go, don't turn it off. Let it rip. Um, do we have plenty of tape left? Yes. Because I'm afraid these last two scenes will be the longest two scenes we've got. <laughs> Only not because of them, but we don't know what we're doing. We didn't... Well, we know that. <laughs> <laughs> but we do it with style. Okay. Steve's back into the profession. Ty the bug guy wants a girl. And I just like I just like to get my crypt back to normal and get rid of well, I just like to get my crypt back to normal and I'm kinda of worried about Fred. Well, I don't know. Blah blah blah. And then uh, why don't you close that scene out with something really ignorant? Like I don't know. Left field. Ignorant. Just left field. You ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? No, <laughs> just the other evening. Um, um Yo, butt ever itch. My itch is to beat the band. I think we got enough hygiene stuff there. How about um I uh, would offend people with NASCAR. Um <laughs> I was thinking the same thing though. <laughs> it's let's, official, let's, official let's, sport of white trash. Let's let's get out on a limb. Say, Doc, you got a radio. I want to listen to some nice car. All right. Listen to some nice car. And uh, then say, turn that turn that thing <laughs> off there. Is that a radio? What is that? And kind of looking there real stupid. Do you like, say, do you like Jeff Gordon or something? I'll be like, I hate Jeff Gordon. No, you just do it. You do the whole NASCAR thing. You just do your spiel and look into the camera real stupid and say, does that have a radio on it? I want to see if that number 24 car blows up. I can't stand Jeff Gordon. Well, Pansy's what he is. Watch me, I'm going to catch him out in the street one day. I'm going to whoop him. I'm going to whoop him. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Oh, we're going to get letters on this one. I love it. Okay. Back into the profession. 
Once a girl, I will return to normal. You close it out with NASCAR. Okay. Wait, I want a girl. Are you going to say you'll make some phone calls so we have a reason for the girls to come up? Oh, I think one of them should just oh, no, say we saw you on TV. Okay, they were watching the show. Yeah. Right. Okay. Because I'll say things like, I want to get back into the profession and find some more vampire slayers to train, but wherever will I find them or something like that. Cool. <laughs> How do they know what to play for? How do they know what? How do they know where you're at? Well, it's a castle. Hollywood. It's a castle. It's the biggest castle in Jasper. <laughs> really is. Yeah. I want my pants to come under and I want my willy to pop out too, Lou. Yeah, in scene eight's when we argue about who's staying where, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. All right, who talks this one out? You do, because you're talking. Okay. You're talking. Yeah, I'm talking about getting back. Yeah. Okay, are we ready? Well, I don't know about anyone else, but I'm tired of all this crying in my own milk. I'm going to find some people to join me to fight the good fight. I'm going to make my own little band of vampire slayers. You couldn't hit the bright side of a barn. Oh, please. What do you, what do you mean? Oh, I'm just going to look for some people to join me in the good fight and fight these vile creatures of the night. And I'm going to form my own vampire slayer troop. I like that. I like that. What about you? Kind of fishy to me. I'm going to find me a girl. That's right. I'm going to find me a girl. One that won't break my heart, won't cheat on me, who'll cook and clean for me like a woman should. Wait, why don't you just ask for the moon while you're at it? Uh, gentlemen, you know what I would like? I would just like for things to get back to normal. I'd like my money. Now, while we're on the subject of what we like, I would like my money. I wonder where Fred is. Yes. Fred. Hey. Is that a radio? Yeah, we're on the telly. Didn't you know that? I told you Could that you earlier. turn that to NASCAR? I want to listen to me some NASCAR. I want to make sure that I'm there if number 24 blows up. Because I can't stand Jeff Gordon. Let me see that guy on the street one day, and I'm going to whoop him. I'm going to whoop him all over the street. That's what I'm going to do. I can't stand Jeff Gordon. But if that's a radio, I would appreciate it. It's not a radio. Ladies and gentlemen... Boys and girls, we will be right back. With NASCAR. No NASCAR. That's not a radio, it's a television camera. You do know what a television is, don't you? That one in moving picture? Yes, it's a moving picture. Do you have Japan a television? Color. No. Jim Scrotum. <laughs> <laughs> you had to rack myself when I was doing that little dance. We went far enough with that. Okay. okay. <clears throat> Let's see that one. Fans of the... Uh, have you been fans of me for quite some time? Of course. Have you ever thought of being a vampire slayer? You do sound quite British. My dear man, that is why I'm here. Oh! Jolly good. So what part of England do you come from? Hertfordshire. Oh, now yourself. I come... <laughs> I come from Northampton myself. Well, then we must go off I'll and come train from you. the trailer park over <laughs> Well, you've come to the right place. It just so happens I've decided to start my own vampire slayer troop here in America. So, Doctor, do uh, let me have that suite of rooms up that way and mm -hmm. make sure. No, you no. Them sort of like mine, you? so I can have <laughs> any girl. No, I you want to come much. join me upstairs. I get the sweet. No, don't. I, I don't. Get the so you department. owe me. You owe me. So let's just call even. You give me one of them rooms up there in that tower, and we'll just we'll call it even. You don't owe me a thing. No, we're not Come talking about suite. suite. One room. One. I need the Come tower on, to be my primary headquarters, and I'll need a secretary and a girl Doc, Friday. Doc, you're gonna go. Aren't you gonna go with him? I ain't going with him. <laughs> Let's, let's, try, let's see where this one's going so far. Let's try this. It's going nowhere fast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should we start the scene off with? And that's the first time I got herpes or crabs. No, no we, we can't go there. Paul, Paul <laughs> have you ever seen a uh, uh, Super Troopers? They're in that. Uh, they get stuck in the back of that semi, and when the door opens, they're in the middle of a concert. He goes, and that's the first time I got crabs. 
<laughs> okay. And that's the first time I sucked dick for coke. <laughs> Youngsters here. Okay. Where do we start I'm this? Talking uh, about you. We're talking. <laughs> we need to be talking. The three of us are in general chatting, and we hear a knock. Okay. Correct. Yeah. Well, let me see. To reform the ministry, I'm going to need the girl Friday for myself to answer all my phone calls. Ah, you're going to need my phone. money. And I suppose a suite of rooms would be delightful, also. Yeah, I'll bring me to talk to you about rooms up there. I'll, I'll get with you. You know, later. I've been listening to both of you, and your demands I can't handle. Oh, all I want is a suite. Oh, what you have we my- here? Oh, wow! Well. Hello, ladies. And what brings you here on this delightful evening? I'm Sir Percival Phileas Peabody. Yeah, now, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I am Billy Ty, formerly known as the Bug Guy. Nice to meet you. Whenever you guys do that and come in, <laughs> just look just at my hand and what you're just... doing. I'm going to get kind of back here and you come in. Hey, when I go out and reach your hand, like, and you look can, at it and you shake your hand. Get in here no, you, hey, and you shake my hand. Look but, out there. And I go to your shake your hand, but you go. <laughs> when you look at my hand, just go. Yes. Okay. What? Who? Jordan? Yeah. Okay, now try to remember where you are, and that's where we'll have to be. Otherwise, the camera will lose us. We don't want you getting cut off over there. Okay? All right, where were we? We we were just chit-chatting. Let's start again. Let's start again. Daniel, you come over toward me, and then you kind of come in toward her. Okay. Well, I suppose if I'm going to reform the ministry over here in America, I'll need a suite of uh, those rooms up there. Perhaps your tower will oh, provide oh, me in my the rooms. Um, the room I need to talk to you about the primary rooms too. headquarters. And I need a secretary, of course. Maybe three. You guys keep cutting me off for a little bit, and I'll be going like this. You bet. Y'all, y'all you, I need to be talking about the rooms because I, I, I think I came up to a compromise with the money you owe me. And I wanted to talk to you about that rooms up there. Do you the have them? No, I currently do not. That's sort of what I suspected. Uh, Percival, uh, I know you're on Queer Streets right now. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't use that one. Huh? Actually, I have a room in Jamaica. <laughs> I have my summer home in Florida. I have my dignity, thank you. <laughs> it's, it's, an old six. it's an old thing. Okay. Um, dire Straits. Yes. Okay. Right now, and but uh, gentlemen, I I really can't let you guys move in here. Now, I don't see why not. Well, I'm quite insulted. Me too. Well, hold, 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 don't be that way. Okay. He's a lawyer, there. I will be that way. <laughs> I will. Uh, I will work my debt off with you, and I owe you how much? You never would tell me. Let's just say they were very expensive chemicals. So one night of lodging. In this fine castle? I don't think so. All right, month, very month, well then. Month. Two. What about you? My, don't you remember the good old days when I was a little bit younger? Young a long time ago. And we fought the good fight together, Doctor. You can get back into the fight again. Oh, okay. We're talking about the rooms after them. Yeah, they come, they come in. Okay, before the rooms. Then oh. what are we talking? What are we talking about before the rooms? Let's start. Let's start this. Yeah, but this is before they come in. Right. right. Okay. We're, talking talking about, we're just mumbling to ourselves. I can't believe right. you ate that booger. Or, I don't know. Oh, okay. That's where we just are. Just general okay. banter. All right. Okay. Camera fades up. Why don't you? Okay. I'll do that. Okay. Camera fades up. Did you actually eat that booger? Yes, I ate that booger. Oh, how disgusting. Oh, well, obviously you didn't taste the booger because it tastes like a sirloin steak. Well, at least you didn't say it tasted like mashed taters. Did you eat paste when you were a child? What the heck is paste? Did you go to school? No, my mama schooled me. Okay, okay. Well, what's that I hear? (laughs) Come on in! Woo! Woo! Well, isn't this a delightful surprise on such a nice evening? I agree. Have yes. mercy. Mm. I am Sir Percival Phillips. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, yeah. I am Billy Ty, formerly known as the Bug Guy. Nice to meet your acquaintance. So, what brings you ladies out on a night like this? We saw the show, and we decided to come over. Oh, really? Why? 
It's all right. It's a dry room. <laughs> because we're interested in becoming vampire slayers. Vampire slayers. My first two recruits, and you do sound awfully British. What part of the mother country do you hail from? Hertfordshire. Really? I come from Southampton myself. And my mother is from Wales. This is I live down the street. <laughs> <laughs> well... In order to form a proper ministry over here in America, I'm going to need a suite of rooms. No, no, and no. And that tower will be my primary headquarters. Uh, no. A suite of rooms? Yes. No, no, no. Listen here. Y'all, y'all moan. Y'all moan. Mo- <laughs> you're going to have to, whenever you're doing that, yeah. off. you yeah. owe me money. You keep this way and while you're chewing my ass out, and then you kind of come into him. But, you know, like, right so the camera can see. You owe me money, so I figured that we could call it even if you give me a room up there in that tower, and we'll just call it split. No, no, no. I had the tower. You can live here, but you had to be downwind of me. No, I get that. I picked out me a room. It's all purdy. It's up there on the tower, and that's the one I want. And I ain't gonna take no for an answer. Let's go, sweet. No, no, no. Uh, da, 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 da. How much do I owe you? Uh, you owe me that room up no, there in the tower. How much money? No, the tower. Give me a figure. Quantify it. Got a gazillion Let's dollars. See. You can't afford it. Give me a room with. Come on, sweetheart. Uh, one night. One month. Two nights. Five months. I don't know how to bargain. How about you. whenever I I say one night, and then you look at her and you go, two nights. Well, I go, I go three nights. <laughs> and I'll say two, no. final offer. Wait a minute. No, let's, the, let's do the one they always do in movies where they go, I say... I'll say one night, I say four, uh, you say one night, I say four nights, and then you say three nights, and I'll say two nights. No, let's, let's make it look like you really screw up. That's what, that's what I meant. You say, I say four nights, you say, and then you say. You say a month. I say, you say, okay, I say a month, you say. One night. One night, I say. Three weeks. Three weeks. And. Uh, uh, you say, okay, one month, and I say, okay, three weeks, or something like that. We, I, wanna, I need to mess up. I know. That's what I'm thinking. How can we do this? I need to start out then. Like, you say one month. I'll say three nights and no more. And you'll say five. You say, and you say four. And I say two. That'll work. Okay. This is in my mouth now. Okay. <laughs> Where are we going? We're going from there? Yeah. Okay. Now you're going to give me a room up there. And up in that tower because you owe me what it's called even. Now, what'd you say for three nights? Is that what you we agreed on? Four nights. No, whatever we had agreed on. Oh. This is not on the script. Whatever we had agreed Two. on. Oh, you it, say one. And then I'm going to cut you four. off a night whenever you say, I want that for how many nights? And I'm going to cut it's you It's one, want four, er, one, four, one, three, no. No, it's one, four, four three, three, two. two. Yeah. Okay. One, four, three, two. One, four, three, two. And then on your way, I'll say, okay, one night. You'll say, four nights. No, when you're on your way after we have done this. Oh. I'm saying after that's over, you say, okay, uh, two nights. And I'll say, oh, you're going up. And I will just say, okay, one night. You'll say, um, one night. Is that what we agreed on? I'll say, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Let's go, sweet thing. Okay. I'll go ahead and shoot you know, so You're going to get screwed him. twice. Yes. Okay. I like that. Okay, we'll try this. <laughs> I you go and give me one of them rooms up there in that tower. Cause y'all you owe me anyway, so I figure we'll just call it we'll just call it even. Give me one of them rooms up there. One night. Four nights. Two. No, hold on. No, three. Three. Two nights. That's my final offer. Let's go, sweet thing. Okay, hey, hey, hey. Okay, one night. Is that what we agreed on? Yeah. Okay. One night. Come on, sweet lady. Did I just cut you off? <laughs> you know what? Can you get around that? Yeah. Okay. All right. Then you stay there and shake your head. Then you aren't you going to go with? You're going to ask. Aren't you going to go with him? Oh, okay. Aren't you going to go with him? <laughs> no. Okay. Aren't you going to go with him? No. Ah. Beautiful and intelligent. And then you hear me in the background. Mom, sweetie, I'm waiting. <laughs> he, 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 it's Ernest T. <laughs> okay. Uh, 
Okay. Now, my two apprentices here will need lodging, and I do believe I can make use of the towers. My two primary apprentices, though, wait a minute. I think she's spoken for. Uh, yes, she'll, she'll, she'll come to her senses. No, oh, she, she's not spoken for, though. Yes, because she's supposed to be going with you. Oh, okay. oh. And, your and he said, said, she's like, and like he that. says two apprentices. Actually, maybe you don't want either of them, whatever. I'll just say, when, when you she's say spoken she's for, spoken for, she goes, Okay. Well, this one for sure, then. She'll need lodging, and I'm going to make use of that tower as my primary headquarters. And we'll have to put an ad out in the local paper to uh, get me a girl Friday, maybe two or three secretaries to answer the phone calls. But uh, excuse me, excuse me, that, uh, that tower is mine. Oh, yes, but I didn't think you'd mind letting me borrow it until I find proper accommodations for my new ministry here in America. One day? Oh, I think I'm going to need longer than that. Don't you remember the good old days when we fought the good fight together and we had all the lovely young ladies follow us around? It'll be just like back in the day. Okay, one week. One week. I can live with one week. Come along. We have to get you trained up now. All right, you're going to hear me yell things from the room. Like, this room ain't got no John. Everyone's gone. You and I are here. Ooh, this would be good. Then how about you come over here by me and we go, um, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this, I think the show is over for the evening. Uh, Docky has to go. <laughs> oh, okay. I think it'll work. I think that would be great. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's see if we can get through I'm this. Well. <laughs> and, uh, <clears throat> Got it? Yeah. Don't, just don't act like the cameras aren't on. Oh, we don't care. We got plenty of time now. Yeah, we, we had no cameras. We've, we've, we've Our last scene. We've never gotten out this early. My God. Mm. That's nice when we start taping now. I know. All right. Now, let's see. Uh, I'll kind of scoot this way, get over here, and then when the girls come in, get to your point, and I'll get to mine. Should I be, like, looking at you? Yeah, you like, want him, but I'm wanting you. Thing. Yeah, that would work. Yeah. I never thought of that. You're that, looking, that at, him. Work. You're looking at him, and I keep looking at you. If you were looking at him, you don't even pay Yeah, you're attention. blowing the hay seat off. That'll work. Okay. I'm going to okay. spit it out when I see him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, who starts this mess off? Who starts this off? You say, did you really eat that booger? Oh, okay. <laughs> Are we rolling? Yeah. Did, did you really eat that booger? Yes, I ate that booger. It tastes like sorloin steak with mashed haters and gravy. Well, at least he didn't say it tasted like chicken. It tasted a little bit like chicken, though. Oh, good Lord. That's what I always hear. Chicken yeah. this, chicken that. You know why I ate rattlesnake one time tasted like chicken? Probably wasn't as good as the bugger I just had a couple minutes ago. Oh, good Hey, come on in! Woo! <coughs> Woo! <coughs> a pleasant surprise. Yes, what a... I I am, surprise. Yeah, I am Sir Percival Phyllis Peabody, formerly yeah, known yeah, yeah. I'm Billy Tyler, formerly known as the Bug Guy. Come on it's over nice here, to meet your acquaintance. Mm. So, what brings you two lovely ladies out to this crypt tonight? We saw the show, and we decided to come over. Oh, really? And why? We heard you needed some vampire slayers. She sounds English. Oh, I, I do believe you're right. And what part of the mother country do you hail from? Hertfordshire. Really? I'm from Southampton myself. I, I live down the street. Yonder. They knew that. I believe well, we all knew that. Sure. Well, I'm just making sure. So, you want to be a vampire slayer. That sounds delightful. And it just so happens that I'm starting up my own little troop of vampire slayers, and I'm going to be using some of these sweets here as my oh, headquarters. Well, uh, no, wait a minute, wait, wait a darn pecking minute! You owe me. So I was thinking, hear me out here, I was thinking that maybe, what is called even, you know, if you have one of them, let me have one of them runes up there in that tower. Well, as long as it's down coming from me. You stop talking, I want one of them runes up there in the tower, no, and we'll just call it even. Like what? No, I want a room in the tower. You owe me money, you're going to give me a room in the tower, and that's the end of it. How much do I owe you? You owe me a room up in the tower. All right, one night. Four, Four nights. nights. I'll agree to one night. Four nights. I do believe he's being quite reasonable. Four nights. Two. Three nights. You fucked that up. <laughs> you too. You're too. 
Uh, the, you're, you're three. Two. You're three. One, four, three, two. Okay. All right. One, four, three, two. Okay. One and three is my line. Three. Yes. yes. Okay. Let's start this again. All right. That'll work though. And then, okay. Anyway. Oh, sure. <laughs> I just got to ask you one thing. What's that? Did you really eat that booger? Yes, I really ate that booger. You never tried it. Tastes like sirloin, taters, with lots of gravy. Well, at least he didn't say it tasted like chicken. It did kind of taste like chicken, too, though. He's a rat. You know, I always hear that chicken this year. I had rattlesnake once. It tasted like chicken. So did the booger I just had a few minutes ago. Oh, good Lord. Where's Fred when you need him? Come on in! And we got oh 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 yeah! <laughs> yes, my, what have we here? I know what we got here. And what brings you out on this evening, dear ladies? We saw the show, and we decided to come over. Oh really? Why? Well, we would like to become your vampire slayer. Well, isn't that delightful? And it so happens that I'm looking for some vampire slayers to join me in the good fight. And it just so happens I'm going to be taking over a suite of these rooms, and you'll have free lodging and accommodations. The heck no. you say? Yeah, that's right. He's right, because them's my rooms up there in that tower. Them's my no, rooms, because you try. owe me money, so you're going to give me a room up there. How much that? As I long as you're down you. with for me. You quiet. You owe me a room. What do you mean how much I owe you? You owe me. Quantify it. Money, how much do I owe you? One you, night. One. No. no, 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 no. Four nights. Two. Two nights, that's my final offer. Hmm. Two nights. One. Two nights. Come on, sweet penny, let's go. Quite no, reasonable. I, I, don't, I don't think so. Two I nights. I don't think so. Two nights. Four. No, two nights. Very well. All right. He's trying to stick me. I'm on to you. Come on, sweet penny, let's go. Right into the wow. chap. Yeah! It's very exciting. Okay. So, come off with me, and we're going to get you all settled in. And as I said, uh, I'm going to take over the tower as my primary headquarters. And if you wouldn't mind to put a, a advertisement in the local periodical, I need a secretary or two to help me. And uh, there ain't no job just, uh, in this room. Take care of it for me, won't you, Doctor? Come on now. Oh, uh, one night. Oh, please. We go back so long. Don't you remember when we used to fight the good fight together and have all those lovely young ladies follow after us? A month. All right, then. I'll get in. One night. One night? Mm Mm-hmm. One week. Very well. Okay. Coming on. Let's go. Get you all trained up. And, uh... Hmm. Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls... I think it's about time for our show to end this evening, and uh, we will be back again next week. Same time, same channel. I think that worked. We forgot the whole British thing. Oh, Oh. well, that's okay. I'll go down the street. Let's look at it. Let's look at it. Let's see how it works. I think it might work. It might work. We can shoot it again. It's not that long, and we're better this time. Yeah. Get sleepy. Okay. If we shoot this one more time, that'll be it. But short of that, I think. Mm. Rewind! John? My God, he's dead! Dead, I tell you! John! He's doing a break. No, he's not. He's playing Tomorrowland. Whoa! Hey, could be showing you how to use the steak properly, but that would give away the end of the show. So that's a bad idea. Here. I'm going to leave. See how good the makeup was. <laughs> how old are you, Steve? What? How old are you? Almost 35.
Jesus, you old man. Yes, I know. That was all the rod, man. I'm going to say, hey, once you've done oh, old, nothing's as bold. Can I give you I'll show you where to be. Okay, let's give something away this evening. What can we give away? Because no one's going to see her? Yes. Sorry, Judge. <laughs> and whenever I say that, you just kind of mangle your way through the people, and you hand this up to me, and I'll look at it, and I'll say, <clears throat> ooh, an old classic black and white horror. And then she goes, what? <laughs> and I'll say, can we really give this away? We can? All right, we're giving it away. Um, call in. You'll win. I wish someone throw it really hard right at your face and hits you. Come on! Jesus! Dad. Okay. Dad. Dad? Dad? What? Hmm? What is it? The mask. I think she looked like a little sick child. <laughs> Don't wear the mask. Okay, girls, you get up here. Always there. I'll get kind of back here, and then uh, you will come right up here, and then you stick this right up your head. Yeah. <laughs> right this. Just stick it up real high, like right up in here, right up in here. Just stick it up. Okay, and I know that way. Or do you want to see the tile at all? No, we don't want to see the tile. Oh, so no. you take this and you put your arm up like this, and I'll take it from you. Okay. So you're okay. Off. okay. As soon as you hear me say, "Let's give something okay. away." You walk in. <clears throat> You're right there. Can you can you see her? No. <clears throat> okay. Ready? What? We can't see you. Left. Our left. Move this way a little bit, bro. Right there? Okay. Okay. Ready? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, be sure to call in this evening so you can win a classic horror DVD. That should be. Where is my classic horror DVD? Ah, here it is. Ooh, can we give this away? We can? All right, be the first or second or third caller. I don't know, just call in. 482-2727 to win a classic horror black and white film. Okay. Cool. Good job. Good job, Brett. It's kind of like uh, when Rod Stewart and those old people did uh, Unplugged. I think this was...